Hello there! What is going on everybody? Today we have got our hands on the brand new Clone Wars edition of the Star Wars deck building game. This is a game designed by Caleb Grace with Frank Brooks from Fantasy Flight Games. And this is an alternate version of the Star Wars deck building game. This one is taking place during the Clone Wars and is a completely standalone game. But that can also function as an expansion to the existing Star Wars deck building game, you can mix and match these two. And, uh, and, 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 you know, honestly, I haven't even looked at the cards outside of a couple of preview cards yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to open this thing up and we're going to look at every single card that comes in here. You're going to basically be able to look at both the uh, Separatist faction deck, the Republic faction deck, and also that uh, third party neutral faction deck deck as well. We're going to look at all of the cards and the starters and everything that comes in this one. If you like Star Wars and tabletop games, you're in the right place. Hopefully you stick around. We do have a $25 Amazon gift card giveaway going on right now. You just have to be a subscriber and leave a comment on this or one of my videos. It's as simple as that. Let's go ahead and get this thing opened up. We're going to pop open this shrink wrap. This is always fun to uh, to be looking at uh, a new Star Wars board games, especially when Fantasy Flight is making Star Wars games. It makes me happy. Um, you know, because, because again, these are, the, the Star Wars deck building game is a fun game. And I think they said they're not done with this, so there will probably be more in the future. Um, really, I kind of wish they would do more, um, you know, this game has a lot, in, in, in similar to Star Realms, and I wish that they would, like, kind of open it up a little bit more to, like, more factions instead of just, hey, you can only do good guys versus bad guys. Um, you know, what, you know, of course you can always homebrew that stuff if you want, but, yeah. So we got a rule book here. And it's probably, you know, the gameplay hasn't fundamentally changed. That there, are, There's a couple of new rules in here, which I, I gotta refresh my memory. I'm not gonna do a full review of this right now, because I wanna play it a couple of times first and see how it stacks up to the, uh, the, the existing game. One of the big problems that I'm gonna have with it, though, is that I had gotten these special pre-order sleeves with the existing, oh, look at Char Char Pinks is right on there. I had gotten some special pre-order sleeves and I don't have those here, and that's going to it's going to be a, a little bit of a feels bad because it won't be easy to mix and match. Uh, so we've got card backs here. We've got uh, we've got tokens just like we did with the with the first game. So again, you don't need the first game, uh, and you're going to use these for this one for the force, the white one for the force, the yellow for money, and then the purple for damage on the base. We've got the rule book. Let's go ahead and get these packs opened up. All right, so we're going to start out with our Outer Rim Pilots. This is just, uh, this is going to be your side deck that sits on the side that everybody has access to. Uh, we've got two turn sequence reference cards, and then, of course, we have the Force uh, the force Marker here, uh, which is, again, the same for the, as the other game, except this has got their Separatist and Republic factions on there. We've got the Republic starting decks, which is going to have a couple of clone troopers, and then the, uh, then the Republic shuttles. We're going to have bunch of those and we've got one Jedi Knight. Uh, now the planets are going to be the more interesting parts. So we start with Rishi, which is a starting one. We've got Anaxas, we've got Coruscant, we've got Kamino, we've got Ryloth, we've got Christophsis, Ilum, ooh, Kashyyyk, Naboo, and Rhodia. And that's it for our Republic cards. And we've got our CIS cards. We've got two B1 battle droids and the rest are separatist shuttles with the Sheathapedes, which is pretty cool. Um, we've got Dr. Doom as our dark side agent. He's not Dr. Doom, but he does look a little bit like Dr. Doom, right? Uh, it's funny. All right. And then we've got um, Zorn, Dak, Felucia, Geonosis, Majito. Kato Nimoida, Lola Seyu, Mustafar, Onderon, and Sereno. Ah, okay, that is going to do it for the Separatist cards. Now we've got basically three decks all into one. This was in half, uh, kind of like that, but it kind of goes this way. I mean, we're going to shuffle these all together if we're going to play this version. But we're going to start off, it's going to be 30, uh, 30 gray or generic ones, then 30 Republic, and then 30 CIS. So got Jar Jar Binks, we've got a uh, Protocol Droid, two of those, we've got uh, some Weequay Pirates, we've got Aura Singh, I, I do expect so just about everybody to make an appearance in here, um, we've got some Underworld Contacts, we've got two Super Commandos, we've got two Hut Fighters, 
We've got Lots Razi. We've got Zam Wessel. We've got two uh, of those mining uh, mining guild freighters, the Aurora class freighter. We've got two assassin droids. We've got Embo. We've got two gauntlet starfighters. We've got two, no, three, three space yachts. Three space yachts. We've got Django Fett. We've got, oh my goodness. Um, I like seeing this. I don't even know what this is from, which episode this is from, but we've got two Dreadnought class cruisers. I, I love, I love Dreadnoughts because it makes me think of Katana Fleet, even though this is Clone Wars. Cad Bane, um, I can look up what episode they're from. One Fett's Fire Spray. They're never going to call it the Slave One again. <laughs> just going to have to get, just going to have to get used to that. Uh, Hondo Anaka. And then now we're, that's it for our, our, our uh, generics. Now we're on to Republic. We've got, um, We've got one, two V-19 torrents, two ATRTs, uh, two Bark Troopers. We've got two Consular Class Cruisers. We've got some Jedi. We've got Ayla Secura. We've got two, three Arc Troopers. We've got Captain Rex. We've got two Delta 7Bs. We've got one, two Arc 170s. We've got Ahsoka Tano. War! Ashoka Tano! Two of those. We got Clone Commander Cody. We've got Anakin Skywalker. Padme Amidala. We've got two Acclimator class ships. We've got an ATTE. And we've got Obi Wan Kenobi. Obi Wan Kenobi? Now, there's a name I've not heard in a long time. There are some notable missing characters from this deck, by the way. Two, two Venator class destroyers and Mace Windu. I am really noticing a lot of folks are not in here. They made a lot of room for more characters. There's no Yoda. Uh, yeah, there's no Yoda amongst others. But um, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, folks. There's definitely going to be more of this game coming. Okay, here we go. Separatists. Two, three, B2 battle droids. We've got one two, three vulture droids. We've got Newt Gunray. Uh, we've got two Staps. Well, are those droidicas? Two droidicas. We've got two tri-fighters. We've got Watt Tambor. We've got two Munificent class frigates. We've got two Magna Guards. We've got two MTTs. Oh, I love this art. We've got uh, three Lucre Hulk droid control ships. Uh, those are, uh, or just droid control ship. Only a four? I thought a Lucre Hulk would be way, way bigger than that. That's interesting that they power that, them so, that weakly. That's, that's very interesting. We've got an AAT, only one. We've got Admiral Trench, General Grievous, two Separatist Dreadnoughts, Asajj Ventress, and Count Dooku. That is it. All right, that is the Clone Wars edition of the Star Wars deck building game. That's just what comes in the box. We're still going to play it, see how the factions are balanced out. I will say this from just looking at the cards and the, the thematics and the names that are on the cards. It does feel like there is a lot of room for growth and expansion with these games. Uh, lots of characters. Savage Opress not here. Yoda's not here. Lots of other Jedi could easily show up up other characters like Rift Tamsin and other really cool Separatist characters could totally work. And of course, we know that there's also plenty of room for growth on the uh, at the original trilogy as well. And maybe we'll even see a sequel trilogy edition of the Star Wars deck building game at some point. And hopefully uh, it grows to allow for like, you know, multiplayer and, uh, you know, in, in different formats and stuff like that as well, which I think would be really, really cool. And frankly, I kind of want to be able to build a deck that can have both Republic and Separatists in my deck, and, you know, just not, not because I want to do that a whole lot, but because it's cool to cross, uh, you know, to recruit people cross-faction sometimes, but, you know, I think that's one of those things that they were given a firm no on doing, but we'll see. Maybe the future will change, but uh, it's pretty cool. Let's see, let's see how, it, how it plays in the future. If you want to see more, you click that subscribe button, stick around, click that bell for alerts, all that cool stuff. I will talk to you guys later. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Big thanks to my patrons. You guys are amazing and help make this channel possible. I will talk to you soon. May the force be with you. Live long and prosper. Be excellent to each other. Party on dudes and always wash your socks.